Forti client can create IPsec VPN tunnels. It can obtain dynamic IP addresses from an external DHCP server. This is a common scenario found in enterprises where all DHCP leases need to be managed centrally. In this example, the DHCP server assigns IP addresses in the range of 172.20.1.251 to 172.20.1.254. The server is attached to port 2 on the FortiGate and has an IP address of 172.20.1.96. FortiClient is installed on a Windows PC, connected via FortiGate's port 1. This is a typical spoke hub topology. First, let's take a look at the main configuration on FortiGate. In this example, the IPsec VPN is using the interface mode. In the Phase 1 configuration, it's noteworthy that the type is defined as dynamic, serving as the hub to accept client connections. You can choose any proposal algorithm as long as they are consistent with the Forti client configuration. The phase 2 configuration is also straightforward. It's important to note that SRC subnet or DST subnet should not be specified. Next, enable the DHCP relay service on the VPN interface and set the server address accordingly. Finally, configure the necessary firewall policies. Now let's take a look at the configuration of the external DHCP server. In this example, we are using another FortiGate as the DHCP server. Besides defining the IP range, an important setting is to define the server type as IPsec. Otherwise, FortiClient won't be able to obtain an address. Let's configure FortiClient. Specify a name for the connection, set the remote gateway to the FortiGate address, and enter the password that matches the one on the FortiGate. Open the advanced settings and take a look at the specific parameters related to the IPsec VPN. The IKE version number and mode must match the FortiGate. Also, select DHCP over IPsec. The IKE proposal and DH group for Phase 1 must match the settings on the FortiGate. In the Phase 2 configuration, it's equally important to ensure that these settings are the same. Now, we've completed all the configurations. After saving the settings, FortiClient returns to the main access interface. Using the drop-down menu, select the VPN configuration you want to use. Click on the small menu in the upper right corner to choose to modify the current VPN configuration or to create or delete configurations. Once everything is ready, click Connect button. FortiClient will establish the VPN tunnel and display the acquired IP address. This is the demonstration of configuring FortiClient to achieve DHCP over IPsec. Enjoy!